And the big national news for today, former President Trump appeared in a Manhattan courtroom and pleaded not guilty to all charges. The indictment was unsealed today after Trump was arraigned. A New York grand jury charged Trump with 34 counts of falsifying business records with the intent to conceal illegal conduct connected to his 2016 presidential campaign. Prosecutors say the charges have to do with hush money payments made to two women who claimed they had an affair with Trump. And joining us now is Alexander Ali Silvert, a criminal law consultant, a retired federal public defender, and the author of the book, The Mailbox Conspiracy Regarding the Kaloha Case. And thank you so much for being with us this afternoon, Ali. No, thank you for having me. Now, as a former defense attorney, um, what do you see as the biggest hurdles for Trump's defense team? Well, in a white collar fraud case, it's usually a paper case. And in this case, uh, according to the indictment and the statement of facts laid out by District Attorney Braggs, there's clearly a clear paper trail of the improper payments of $130,000 that ended up with Stormy Daniels in order to keep her quiet before the presidential elections. So there's clear paper trail showing the illegal payments. The real issue is, can the prosecution prove Trump's knowledge and intent in making those payments. So there's the paper trail, but how strong is this case with Michael Cohen as one of the key witnesses, Trump's former fixer, who may have an ax to grind? According to the statement of facts laid out by the Manhattan District Attorney, there are corroborating evidence that buffers and in supports the credibility of Mr. Cohen. That includes phone messages, text messages, uh, meetings with third parties who can also testify. So there is a whole bunch of corroborating evidence to support Mr. Cohen. So it's not just his credibility alone. But when it comes down to the crucial issue of Mr. Trump's full knowledge and intent, that's going to be the difficult area. And you've seen the indictment. Can you actually, uh, there's a lot of legalese in there. Can you break down the charges in layman's terms? Sure. Essentially, it's it's a very simple indictment. There were nine payments made to Mr. Cohen by the Trump Organization, allegedly on behalf of Mr. Trump, in order to reimburse him for the legal payments to Stormy Daniels. Every time a payment was made to Mr. Cohen, there were three sets of falsified business records created. And the indictment just basically goes month by month for the nine payments made to Mr. Cohen alleging the falsified documents, which is a violation of New York business law. How long could this take to go to trial with all the different motions being filed, and what's the next step? There are going to be a, a lot of pretrial motions filed, uh, challenging the indictment, trying to case dismiss, or trying to get counts dismissed and watering it down. This is gonna take a long time uh, there's going to be a lot of discovery that has to be turned over and reviewed by the defense. This is going to drag out, as far as I can tell, for more than a year. Wow. Now, if you were Trump's defense attorney, what advice would you give him? Well, one, I would tell him not to talk about the case at all. Uh, that and He's on the campaign trail, and he has a tendency to want to speak out. Uh, if I was a, a defense attorney, that would be my number one admonition to him, is not to talk about the case. Number two is not to make any threats against the judge or the prosecutor, as has happened in the weeks leading up to this, because that could lead to further court hearings and possibly more stringent conditions of pretrial release. Hard to get him not to talk about this, given his personality. But thank you so much, Alexander Ali Silvert, for that interview. And, you know, we will have this interview posted on our website, KITV.com, right after this newscast. And we will continue to follow the criminal case against former President Trump. Stay with KITV4 on air, online, and across all social media for the very latest developments. Or also download our free KITV4 news app to receive breaking news alerts right to your phone.